Hello and welcome back to the Common Cold Podcast. I am Josh Hudgens, joined by a special guest, former Indianapolis Colts linebacker and Super Bowl champion, Taiwan Hagler. How's it going, man? It's great. How are you? I'm good, man. Uh, hey, real quick, I know you've been out of the league for a few years. I, I was doing some research on you, and I see you got this nonprofit organization you've been uh, uh, working with for quite some time. Tell me about that a little bit. Okay, so yeah, when I back in 2007, year after we won the Super Bowl, I created uh, my foundation, which is the Taiwan Hagler Foundation. So we host a free football and cheer camp for our youth each summer. So this year we just completed year 16. So yeah, it's been a long time. Um, we just missed one year due to COVID, um, but we're mm -hmm. we're back rocking and rolling. So then also within that, we have a we host a basketball tournament. Um, we give we do back to school events. Um, we try to do Thanksgiving. Christmas as well, just give gifts. We also offer partial scholarships to um, underprivileged kids within my um, hometown of Kankakee, Illinois. Yeah, I noticed that uh, from Illinois. So were you were you a Bears fan growing up? I was a huge Bears fan growing up. Uh, so maybe take me through, obviously you, you go through college and then you're, you're trying to get go to the pros. What's it like being a guy who you're entering the draft. Do you have like a lot of hope that the Bears take you or do you do you not really care? You're just trying to get drafted or what, what's that like? I was definitely hopeful that the Bears would draft me, but I didn't care where I went. I just wanted to make sure I was playing. Yeah, yeah. And then, so obviously you end up on the Colts and they have Peyton Manning. They have all these stars. What's it like playing playing with some of these guys like Peyton Manning? Do, is there is there a moment when you're like, oh crap, this is this is the NFL that's Peyton Manning in practice. Can you, is there, is there a moment like that that you had? It definitely was. I think it was my first time I seen Peyton in the locker room. I was like, wow, that is Peyton Manning right there. <laughs> I like, that's actually my teammate. So this is pretty cool. And then, um, then I was around the rest of the guys. So like Freeney, Mathis and all. And I said, wow, I am here. <laughs> so I have then, arrived. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's awesome. Uh, and then obviously you guys make it to the Super Bowl. And you play your hometown Bears. What's that like playing your favorite team in the Super Bowl? <laughs> I knew everyone from my hometown would definitely be watching. That's for sure. Uh, but it didn't actually. It didn't. It didn't matter whether it was the Bears, the Jaguars, the Texans, the Titans. I didn't care. I just they were just my opponent at that moment. They didn't draft yeah. me, so they wasn't paying me, so I didn't care. I think I didn't. It didn't matter who we were playing. I just wanted to win the game. Some people say, obviously, two weeks prior, you guys come back against the Patriots, against Tom Brady. You're, you're down 18 points, have that comeback. They say that game was like, after you won that one, it was like, okay, like no matter who who the Colts face, they're probably going to mow them down. Was that kind of the mindset in the locker room, or what was that like after that win against the Patriots? Actually, not really, because we knew the Bears were going to be a tough team, but I did we, did we did get hot at that moment, so at that time, should I say. So I knew that we were definitely the favorite team to win yeah. it and i was like i think i'll take peyton over rex grossman any day so i, I was like well, <laughs> we got this in the bag we just gotta you know stop him a few times and i think we're good yeah and in the super bowl you actually uh on special teams you recover a fumble um is, is that like an out-of-body experience kind of making a big play in the super bowl obviously kicking off to hester was was it was crazy but <laughs> but then i think gabe reed fumbles a ball in a super bowl what's what's that like it was it was amazing. Um, it actually I didn't think much about it until I got to my phone after the game after we won, and I got a lot of text messages, phone calls, voicemails, what have you, everyone talking about how the, I recovered the phone with a, and they said how Taiwan Hagler from Kankakee, Illinois, and so <laughs> that's been uh, I, I get that some stories still to this day. Oh yeah. So obviously NFL, your 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 playing days are done. Do you still how involved are you in watching? pro sports, pro NFL. Do you, how, how involved are you in that side of things? Oh, I'm still watching. I'm still yeah. a football fan. So I'm watching every, every Sunday. Who do you watch? Obviously the bears, but Colts as well. Yeah. So when you, when you think about the NFL right now, one thing I thought was interesting, um, the year you guys won the Super Bowl, Oh six, Joseph Adai was, and Dominic Rhodes were kind of that split, you know, split and carries, um, on running back duties. Obviously, it's all over the news right now, the the running back stuff with Jonathan Taylor and all these other running backs. What's it like as a teammate when, when you see all that stuff going on? Is is that kind of is that kind of awkward when you know, hey, you kind of want your teammate to to get paid, but then it's a business? How 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 does that go in a locker room? Actually, we don't talk about it. We don't discuss it. I've and I would assume people will probably discuss it amongst the people that are close to on the team, but 
the team as a whole, no one really discusses it. Everyone try to keep that quiet because they don't want to be a cancer in the locker room. So yeah. that was definitely quite, that was definitely something that we, I rarely heard anyone discuss. Yeah. Um, and just, just a few more questions here. Obviously the Colts, they have rookie quarterback, Anthony Richardson, top five pick. Um, what's, what's your thoughts on, on, on him coming in pretty raw prospect. I think a lot of people are saying, would you, mm-hmm. would you be more of a guy who thinks the team should get him as many reps as possible start day one or what's your thoughts obviously with your background in the NFL do you think he needs more of like hey rest you know, sit him for a few weeks kind of get acclimated to the league more what, what, where do you stand on that um I, I think I was reading an article and he actually said how's that going to help him by him just sitting on the sideline watching so I'm all for kind of how they put how they threw Andrew Luck in there hey just let yeah. him play get him get him that experience and make sure you protect him as long as they protect him, he's progressing. Yes, but if he's starting to, if he's not doing well and he's losing his confidence, all right, pull him because when uh, I don't want to call name any names, but when the quarterback loses their confidence, it's kind of hard to yeah. get that back. Yeah, and one one final question I have: We're just common cult fans. What is one thing that NFL fans don't understand about being an NFL player? How hard it is. It is definitely hard. Obviously, everyone knows statistics. Less than 1% of um, players make it to the NFL, but then it's just it's such a grind. Like some guys are just, are on the team week to week. Um, mm-hmm. Some Not everyone is paid. No, you got every, you got your, you're going to be on the team regardless. So you get to choose, pick and choose when you want to stop playing and stuff like that. So it's very difficult. But then it's also, like I said, all the work that goes behind the scenes as far as working your bus off the workouts, the film study, the practice. Um, it's, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot of hard work. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it is, man. And I, I appreciate you coming on our show and, and doing this with us. Um, Hey, uh, any, any message Colts nation, NFL nation, uh, or anything you want to talk about on your, on your uh, nonprofit you're working on? Um, I would definitely say as far as Colts nation, Hey, I think this, the team is definitely going to be in better hands. Um, no, actually, let me take that back. No, I like Frank a lot. So Frank, I thought Frank is a very, is, yeah. he's a very good coach, but, but I do think that the team is trending in the right direction. I think they are going to return to turn to, um, to, to dominating again. So, you know, stay tuned, um, be a little patient, but it's going to turn around. Yes, sir. Well, guys, that is Taiwan Hagler, former Indianapolis Colts linebacker, Super Bowl champion. Again, I appreciate you uh, coming on our show. And there will be a link in the description to uh, his foundation, guys. Make sure to check that out. Uh, thanks again, man, for coming on our show, and, and we appreciate you. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having me.